So today we're going to go test out some new accessible uh, suspension bridges that just opened. 100% okay, not wheelchair accessible. Saying hypothetically, if you could teleport to the bridge, <laughs> you could then cross it with your wheelchair. Okay, Kyle, where are we going? To explore the world. Woohoo! No, today we're going to go test out some new accessible uh, suspension bridges that just opened. But we met for dinner with a friend last night who worked on building said accessible suspension bridges. And the company might be over advertising the accessibility. He has said that perhaps we were gonna test it out with my manual chair because I wanted to see like how it would be for everybody. Like if you just had a chair, like how could you go? Um, he recommended taking my off-road wheelchair. So I think that's what we'll be doing. And obviously can report back on if it would be possible with a manual chair. wheelchairs in the car. So we brought a manual chair and my really big chair. if it gets packed down but you can tell that like this gravel is really fresh and like you just see in a hole like it's not like I mean you can see like that's not gravel you want to be on in a classic chair even my power chair like you would want big tires so I'd say that's the first accessibility call yeah we're pretty lucky because we were out for dinner with a friend yesterday who actually happens to be part of the crew that is building the actual suspension bridges and things like that. We told him, we're like, yeah, we're gonna test it out in my normal wheelchair. He's like, oh, like, I think you should probably take the big wheelchair because like, I've seen people try to take wheelchairs on the trail and like the gravel's not packed and there's some pretty steep sections, I guess, so. I guess that's what you get like online the company literally puts it on their website that they're like fully wheelchair accessible and um clearly like that's not the case yet maybe they're gonna pave these paths or like pack the gravel who knows for now i probably well we're, we're gonna go on the bridges but like i don't know if you'd be able to get to the bridge with a normal chair but we'll see <laughs> The hill that we're about to go up probably be, like, I don't know, it's hard to tell the steepness, like, when you're watching video. This hill is 100%, 100% too steep to drive a typical power chair up. Like, you need a lot of <laughs> Like, even I need to put my power up a little because I don't have enough juice on the Look at that though. I can't imagine. Kyle, are you so glad I didn't make you try and push me up this? 
Uh, yeah, I think I would have got a workout. I mean, I think you're probably getting a workout before. <laughs> okay, oh no, there's stairs. We made it, we made it. Oops. Can you get through? Uh, we might need to move the picnic table, but... Can you go up around that? Yeah, but how am I going to get back down? There's no steps. <laughs> well, let's look at the viewpoint first. Oh, this is a pretty big step. Oh, is it too big? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be the tricky part. Like, have them on the bridge, put them up on the It's gonna be like a hundred. Honestly, I might need you to just like lift up the back. Wait, I got it, I got it. <laughs> okay. Ready? <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Thank you. Oh, we did it. All right. We so got it. Take her nice and slow. Yeah. I'm just going to shut it down so nobody else comes on. Oh, you. thank you. It'll be nice and stable for you guys. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, my God. This is the coolest. Should we look down? Alright, I'm gonna look down. Ooh, it's so far. We are at Golden Sky Bridge. What do you think? I like <laughs> Look it. Look at the bridge down there. This is like crazy. I am obsessed. Although I will say 100% not wheelchair accessible. Do not come here in a wheelchair if you do not have an off-road wheelchair. Ideally one that's powered or somebody very strong to push you because there is a lot of hills. Like. And they're pretty, they're steep hills. Like, I wouldn't, I don't know how they said this was wheelchair accessible on their site. They were wrong. They were very wrong. The, the bridge itself is. Like, if you can get to the bridge, you can go across the bridge, but getting to the bridge and go and after the bridge, the hills are kind of steep. Yeah, but I mean, that's pretty important. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, hypothetically, if you could teleport to the bridge, you could then cross it with your wheelchair. <laughs> yes. So make sure when you come, make sure to just bring a teleportation device and then you can go to that bridge right down there. These are steep hills. Yeah, is, like, they're, they're pretty steep. The, and the camera doesn't do it justice either. No. Uh, like, I, I don't even know how to describe, like. It's kind of, it's like a, it, Put it this way, you wouldn't send your seven-year-old kid down it on a bike. Yeah. That's probably the best way to explain it. Yeah. Because like, like... Maybe a 10-year-old. 10-year-old could probably do it, but like, you would not put your kid that had just come off training wheels down these, uh, down these hills. <laughs> Let's put it that way. You probably wouldn't put like most people down these hills on a bike unless they'd yeah. like gone mountain biking before. Yeah. That's like, fair. it's like a big trail that's gravel, but like, it's pretty steep. Like most people on a bike who like just ride their bike in the city would not be comfortable going down these hills and would definitely have to probably get off their bike to walk up the hill yeah that's right so there we go <laughs> you would have to walk a bike up these hills so that should probably give you the idea that you probably don't want to be pushing your wheelchair up these hills <laughs> Wheelchair users are like Paralympians. 
Olympian level like strength. Like I have no idea. So wobbly. Are you doing that on purpose? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so shaky. <laughs> Mildly wobbly. See that little like viewpoint up there, the wooden thing? The bridge is way down here. So you can like see how steep that hill is. Um, and obviously it's like switchbacks, but like Boy, it was pretty steep for like, I, I wouldn't do it in my back. That's unless I had like a really strong team of 20 people to pull me up. Just kidding. You know, it's just too steep to get out there that it's not going to be accessible. That's not really going to be possible, I don't think. But this lower bridge, they could totally make it happen. So just feedback on, you know, how they can make it accessible. But more than that, what should be on their website and what information they can provide. Because right now, it just says it's wheelchair accessible. Uh, not to bring strollers on the bridge because it's a little narrow, but it's wheelchair accessible and um, it's not. So definitely if you want to come here, be prepared for a lot of steep, gravelly, not super firm trails. But uh, hopefully they'll post that information on their sites, let you know the grades of hills and things like that so you can get a better idea of what to expect and know if this is an option for you. 